Wamey has come a long way from passing the hat in 1917 to having over $8 million in endowment funds. Were you involved in fundraising? And if so, what were some of the ways Wamey fundraised? Well, in the California Norder and also on uh, Utah Norder, we sold books, we have picnics, we have luncheons, we have bridge, and all the procedures were given to Wayne for scholarships. How do you feel your section is connected to Wayne as a whole? I think it's connected very much because we all have the same interest in helping the students and we work hard. We made the raffles, we made sh fashion shows, lotteries in order to raise more money. The U.S. section gives us money every year, but that's not enough. You should see the long line that we have of students, A students that want to get a scholarship. And it feels terrible to say, sorry, we don't have any more. I became involved with Whammy in uh, 1972, actually, when my husband was awarded a scholarship his last semester of college. We were married at the time, and trust me, that money came in handy. So he was awarded a scholarship from a local Whammy group for outstanding senior uh, graduate. And so we took it upon ourselves to become somewhat involved a little with the local chapters on a social event, uh, on social levels. And then as it seems like every decade, I became more involved. Uh, we uh, attended fundraisers and things of that nature. But in 1996, I um, became extremely involved in Whammy when we moved to Pittsburgh. And that's when I became uh, started working as uh, on the scholarships and later became local scholarship chair where I still serve that position now and I also serve the position of a uh, national assistant scholarship chair to Catherine Dew and uh, I just love the students that we help it's it's amazing you would believe wouldn't believe how many students because many of our students do come from coal uh, histories and uh, communities where that they really can't afford you know, the universities, and so our scholarships really come in handy, and we make sure that these kids get to go to school, stay in school, and get the best education possible, no matter what school they pick. What is a Wamey accomplishment that you are most proud of? I think the, the section we started in Chile, because uh, Chile is a mining country, and uh, there were no SME, no WAMIs, only the Chilean Institute of Mining Engineers. So I went uh, and visited them with them, and uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it was a, a bore of just men. And uh, so I talked to them, explained again our program, and uh, asked them to invite their wives. So we had another meeting, and uh, it, it was a, a cocktail party <laughs> with the wives, and uh, they were very interested. And uh, I'm very proud because they are hard workers. They start uh, the section with uh, 15 members, and now I think I have more than 50 members, something like that, and two sections because they. The one I started was in Santiago, but then they have another one in the north part of Chile, La Serena, I think it's called.